Master pages are a very powerful aspect of InDesign, especially when you're working on a document that is many pages. Master pages allow you to take common elements that appear on a lot of pages, apply them to a master page, and then they will cascade through the document and attach to whatever pages you have attached that master to. Let me show you where we're starting here. We have an eight page document. So you can see they're facing pages. We got a front and a back cover and then three spreads. Now the pages window, uh, we have a whole video on this. So if you didn't watch that video, you might wanna go watch it before you watch this one because we're not gonna talk about pages in here. We're gonna talk about master pages. Master. And so my master pages, I've slid them off just to get them out of the way. But when I need them, I can just pull up that panel from the bottom. Now, as I mentioned in another video, your master pages are probably stuck to the top. That's where they are by default. Let me show you how to change some settings in this panel to make it work the way you want it to work. So I'm gonna go up to the menu for the pages window and then pull all the way down to the bottom where it says panel options. And many panels will have this. So look around and you can really start to customize your experience. So page size, you can change the sizes of these to be different sizes. I have them set to their biggest and I definitely like to show the thumbnails. And what that means is it will give you a little tiny thumbnail view of what are actually on those pages. So I would rather just see the page I want to go to and then double click on it. Uh, the master pages I have set smaller to medium so they don't take up very much space. And then down here at the bottom is the panel layout area. And so right now I have checked pages to be on top, which means my master pages are attached down here. So I'm gonna leave mine where they are. And then if you would like to hide your master pages, you'll see if I just hover over that line at the top of that panel, I can just very easily slide that up and down. All right, so as I look at these pages, you'll notice that each of these currently has a letter A in the upper outside corner. And uh, that means that uh, this already has had a master applied to it, and that's because InDesign does that automatically. When you set up your page parameters, it automatically applies that to every single page. Does, does that mean you have to keep it? No, you can go to your individual pages and change them independently, or you can go in and you can change the master page to be what you want. So that's where we're gonna start. So I'm just gonna double click on one of the master pages down there, and I'm gonna hide this panel so we can see it a little bit better. Slide this over. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, customize these a little bit. So remember where you customize is going up here to the layout window. But first I wanna make sure that both of my pages are marked, which they are. And then I'm gonna to go to the layout window and pull down to margins and columns. And so right now these are all six picas on the margins all the way around. So I'm gonna unlink those so I can have them be different sizes. The top I do indeed want that to be six picas. The bottom I would like that to be three picas. Uh, the inside I would like to be two pica six. And then the outside I would like to be four pica six. So just as a reminder, we are working in points and pica measurement system now. Oh, this man. is the measurement system I'm most used to. But there's nothing magical about this. You can certainly continue to work in inches, that's okay. But just to give you a point of reference, there are six picas in an inch, there are 12 points in a pica, and therefore there are 72 points in an inch. So Whatever. at least that gives you a sense of the scale. Three picas would be half an inch. All right, so number of columns, I would like this to be two columns and then the gutter, um, that's perfect. So that's a quarter of an inch, which is what we've been doing. And then I'm just gonna click okay. And so right away I have changed that A master and that has changed then on all of the pages. But just to make that clear, I have some little typographic elements here just to kind of label 
each one of these pages. And because they are facing pages, it's important that you keep track of what's a left page and what is a right page. And so now if I go back to the pages window, you'll see the preview is showing. And then I'm just gonna go back and double click on the first page here to get back into regular page view. And uh, now I'm gonna close this so you can see better. You can see that all of my pages have been adjusted because all of these pages had the A master applied. So when we changed the master, it went all the way through. So you'll notice that the, uh, the back cover is considered a left page and the front cover is considered a right page. So that is because uh, most brochures or books are gonna be wraparound covers. And so the back page would actually be over here when this is laid out flat. So this would be the left page and that makes the front cover the right page. So this is great. If you want to put something on every page or several pages, then adjusting the master will do the trick nicely. But you may be saying, but but Ron, what do you mean some of the pages? Huh? If you apply it to the master, doesn't that apply it to every single page? Well, no, because you can have multiple masters. So if I go back to the pages window here, you'll see this is just the A master, but we're gonna create a couple additional masters. So you can apply different masters to different pages. So to create a new master, if you go up to the menu for the pages window, you just pull down to new master. Master and you define what you want it to be. So do you want this to be called Master B? Sure. Uh, do you want to base it on another master? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, how many pages do I want? Two, thank you very much. And then letter size is just fine. Vertical orientation is just fine. And so then I click OK and immediately uh, it adds that master and it actually puts me right onto the B master spread. I can tell where it is because if I look down here at the bottom left, it tells me B master and that is the page I'm on. Okay, so let me modify this. It looks like it has applied the same margins that I had for the A master and that's actually fine because I just want to make a couple of minor changes to this. So I really only want to change the right hand page. So I'm going to click on that right hand B master page there before I go up to layout margin and columns because I only want this change to affect that page. And so you'll see right now all these are exactly the same settings. The one thing I want to change is I want to make this have three columns instead of two. So I'm gonna click up and you'll see that this page changed and this page stayed the same. So that's good. And then a couple uh, things I wanna to add to this graphically. I am going to make a uh, little bar here at the top, which is gonna be a recurring element. And so I just wanna make this be the same size as the columns. And that actually filled with the color I want, which is this Pantone tan color there. And then I'm just gonna drag this straight up to the top. And then I also want to make it so that these right hand pages uh, have a color in the third column so that we can make those be kind of recurring sidebars of information. So back to my rectangle tool and I am going to just make that block of color go all the way down into that corner. And I would like that to be tan as well. So you can see the changes on this master, three columns on the right page, the sidebar and this top bar here. Okay, so back to my pages window and let me double click here. So this gets me back to the regular pages, uh, but obviously nothing has changed here. Well, not for long, because look at this. I would actually like this page here to become a B master. So I'm gonna drag this master page right from here and then just simply drag it up to that page and boom, that is instantly applied. And then same thing with this. If I want the left hand B master to go there, then I can put that there too and it instantly is modified. And so I'm gonna make this be my big splash center spread. So I'm gonna leave that the same, but then I'm gonna go in and repeat 
these B masters down here on pages six and seven. Okay, pretty nice and easy, huh? Yes, dear. So there's one more master I want to do just to show you that you don't always have to do a master as a spread is facing pages. So I'm going to go up here to the top and pull down to new master again. And this time I'm going to change the um, prefix to P. You'll see why in a minute. And uh, don't want it based on any other masters. This time I'm just going to do a single page and everything else is groovy. Oh, Click OK. Yay. And there we go. So I'm going to apply this to my front and my back covers. So obviously having this inside outside margins doesn't really make sense because they truly aren't facing pages. So back up to layout, pull down to margins and columns. And then I'm going to make this be, uh, oh, what do I think? I think two pica six all the way around. And I clicked the link so it would make them all the same. Uh, the number of columns, I only want to be one column. And uh, then I am going to click OK. So there, change made. And uh, now I want to add some background color to this page and I want to add a couple of bars, one on the top, one on the bottom. So there we go. Beautiful, now I want the color of this to be dusty purple. And uh, then I want the top bar to be Pig Corp pink. And then the bottom bar I will make be that tan color again. Perfect. And then lastly, I wanna put an image on this. What? You can put an image on a master page? You bet your sweet patootie. Oh my! So I'm going to use the keystroke for place, which is Command D. And sure enough, there is the Pig Corp logo. Open that. And oops, I made that mistake again. I had a box marked when I went to place. <laughs> And so I'm going to undo that, Command Z. It will give me the drop icon again, and then I can uh, plunk Mr. Pig Corp right in there. Okay, so I'm holding Command or Control and the Shift key, and that resizes the frame and the image at the same time. And I'm just going to put him right about there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Now this is the P master, so it hasn't been applied to any pages. So I'm gonna go back to my pages here, click on page one again. Here is my new master, and I'm gonna pull that up to the first page. And then I'm gonna scroll down here, and I am also going to apply this P master to the last page. So uh, that, I think, is pretty neat. So I'm going to double click, get back to there, close this. And then um, let's just, let me just show you all the pages. So front cover, spread one, spread two, spread three, and the back cover. Now the back cover, I actually would like to modify just a little bit. Um, I, I want to, the pig is good on the front cover, but on the back cover, I want to replace that with a picture of the chairman. <laughs> if I take it off of the master page, then it goes off of the front cover. So there's two ways you can look at that. You can say, okay, that's fine. Then I'll just put it back on the cover in regular page view. But I actually can modify a master and make it not be a master page anymore, but I can keep all the attributes I want to keep. And so if I hold the command or control key and the shift key and click, you will see that all of a sudden I can grab that master element. And so I'm just gonna delete that. And the, your question is, but won't that screw up the first page? It will not. The pig is still there. So now what it has done is you have modified a master page and InDesign recognizes that. So you could go in and change colors, you can do all types of different things, and those changes will be made locally. But while this is a master, you don't have access to those elements. That's why you have to hold the command or control key and the shift key and click on the element. Then you can access that element even if it's a master page element.
and that takes it out of the master and lets you modify it. Okay, so that is the end of this. Uh, you probably won't be needing this until the final project, but if you do decide you want some recurring graphics or lines or colors or anything that you want to appear on multiple pages, then doing the master pages, as I've shown you here, will save you a lot of time and effort. Master.